What's good, R&B squad? This is Hada Farouk. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you are new here, welcome to this family. We don't believe that you're here by accident. We're happy to have you, and Jesus is, of course, always happier. Alrighty, I have a heavy, heavy word. However, it is going to, by the end of it, it is going to explain so much to whom it is for, and it is going to clear some things up for you because you're very confused right now. And not only is it going to clear some things up for you, but God is going to give you some information through me as to how he plans on dealing with it. Because if this is for you, you're sitting there wondering, okay, Lord, what do I do now? What? I don't know how to deal with this. That's the situation that you're currently in. You're like, I do not know how to deal with this, Lord. You probably even said a prayer recently where you told him you don't know how to deal with this. And this is a kingdom marriage word. You will know this is for you as well because God told you that your marriage, your wedding date is supposed to be right around the corner. Okay. Your wedding date is supposed to be right around the corner. However, things have suddenly taken a sharp wrong turn with you and your person. Some of you have already reconciled and things was going well. And then all of a sudden things took a wrong turn. OK, some of you, the reconciliation hasn't happened yet. It looked like it was getting closer. And then you receive some information or something like that that just threw you off and threw the whole thing off about your person. OK, so let's get into the message and where the message came from and the word. So this word comes from a dream that I had. And one thing about Almighty God, one thing about my daddy, God, is that he will expose everything. Nothing that is done in the dark stays in the dark where God is concerned. He is always going to expose it. So if you're here and you're listening to this word, this is no accident. You needed this today. You prayed for this today. Okay? So I hope that this brings you some explanation as to what is going on, why things all of a sudden took a wrong turn, why things went left, why they look crazy. Okay? In this dream... I remember that there was this man, he was sending these messages to this woman and they were each other's kingdom spouse, okay? And the male God-ordained spouse was sending messages to the female God-ordained spouse. And he was trying to explain his recent behavior and he was also begging her not to leave him, not to separate from him, not to cut him off. And the reason why he was trying to explain his recent behavior and he was begging her not to cut him off is that he had started to act a little crazy. OK, it seemed like they had just reconciled. And then all of a sudden his behavior just was off. He just he started acting a little crazy. And she was like, "Uh, uh-uh, I am not because, no, you are not coming back into my life to disrupt it. You are not coming back into my life to make me uneasy. You're not going to do that. You are not coming back into my life to cause me pain. If you got to come back here to cause me pain, I'm going to cut you off. That's the stance that she was taking. And she was in disbelief. Like she couldn't believe he was acting so crazy. He was not acting like himself. And it seems as though he had a moment of clarity. And he started trying to explain to her why he was behaving the way he was behaving. And then he was begging her not to cut him off. Okay. And then I saw a flash of this person. This person was worshiping the Hindu God, the Hindu false God, Shiva. Okay. And they were asking Shiva to perform a separation spell on these two people. Okay. The person I saw in the dream was a female, but for some of you, it's going to be a man a male counterfeit that is going to 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 Lord, to Lord Shiva, this this false god, okay, and and praying to this false god to try to create a separation or a division between the two of you. All right, and he was just in this dark place, and he was trying his very best to explain to this woman that he loved why he had been acting crazy, but he didn't quite know how to explain it because he didn't even know what was happening to him. 
He did not even know what was happening to him. All he knew is that he was begging her not to leave him over it, not to cut him off over it. All right. And then off to this dark corner was this person praying and asking Lord Shiva, the false God, for a separation spell to separate these two people. All right. And while this person was doing that, off to another side, from another corner, I heard someone saying to this person, you are cursed. You are cursed because of what you did. You are cursed. Okay. And that was the end of the dream. So when I woke up, the Lord broke it all the way down for me. And he added some other little tidbits in there to get me to understand what was going on. So let me just get straight into the message. All right. For someone, if you're in the situation that I described at the beginning of this message, at the beginning of this word, if you have just reconciled with your person and then all of a sudden things started to go wrong, God told you your wedding date is fast approaching, suddenly things have gone wrong. Your person is acting crazy all of a sudden. They're not acting like themselves. It's causing friction between the two of you. It's causing distance between the two of you. It's causing arguments between the two of you. Okay, your character is being questioned at this time by this person. And you don't even know why it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make any sense. It's almost like this person is picking arguments with you out of nowhere. Okay, and for others of you, your person is just generally acting crazy. They're not acting like themselves. They're doing things and saying things that make you wonder if you even want to be with them at this point. You're like, is this the person? This isn't the person that I fell in love with. Like, what is going on here? And some of you are at your wit's end. You're ready to come out of the situation altogether. For those of you who are still in separation, you either received some news recently or you saw something that threw you off about this person. And now you're questioning, should I even bother? Because let's be honest, it's other people that are interested in you. There are other people that are interested in you. And they look like they have all their ducks, ducks in a row. So you're like, should I even bother? Because here is yet another thing. We just reconciled or God was just getting ready to reconcile us. You received dreams and confirmations or visions and confirmations or signs and confirmations that this person is about to reconcile with you. And all of a sudden things go left. And you're like, I can't do this anymore, Lord. I am not. I cannot. That's the frame of mind that you're in. So you're already getting ready to cut this person off. Some of y'all are already getting ready to cut this person out of your life. Because you are not hard up for options. So there's that. However, however, the Lord has an explanation. You see, there is a counterfeit that was in this person's life at some point. And this could be an ex. This could be a counterfeit that is still hovering. They're still present in some way. They still have some sort of communication with your person. Okay. And what they have done is they have gone to the so-called Hindu God. They've started dabbling in a little bit of Hinduism. And y'all know all of that is just devil worship. I don't care who I offend by this. If this is your religion and you're offended, well, your religion is false and you're worshiping the devil. And I'm just going to say it like that. Okay. So this person, they went to this so-called Hindu God, Shiva. Okay. And they asked God, Lord Shiva, who is really the devil in disguise for a separation spell to come between the two of you. And that is why you're all of a sudden having arguments. That is why all of a sudden your person isn't acting right. That is why all of a sudden your character is being questioned by your person for some of you. That is why things are going left all of a sudden. Okay? But, 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 but God. You see, what this person doesn't understand is that they've done separation spells on the two of you before and it didn't work. I don't know why they think it's going to work this time. They've done separation spells on the two of you in the past and it didn't work. And this person is bragging in the spirit realm, calling themselves, referring to themselves as a spiritual baddie because they think they succeeded. They think they have some clout now, but they forget to, 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 to remember if I may term it that way, if I may phrase it that way, what they keep forgetting is that they have a track record for failing where separating the two of you is concerned. They've tried it before and they failed. So I don't know why they think 
that it's going to work this time. The Lord is saying that the very thing, the very thing that they use to try to separate the two of you is what is going to protect the two of you from getting separated. So God is going to use this very thing. Believe it or not, he's going to use this very incident to protect the two of you from becoming separated. So you're not going to be separated. It may look like it now. It may feel like it now. You may even want out right now. But God says he's going to turn it on its head and he's going to use the very thing that they tried to use to separate the two of you, to keep the two of you from separating, to protect you from separating. So it's going to turn around and act almost as a blessing to your union instead of a separation. And then the other thing that I heard was death in mourning. And of course, that person in the dream that was saying to this person who was praying to, to, to the, the, the false god, Lord Shiva, that person that said to that person, you are cursed because of what you did. God is saying that this person brought a curse upon their own life when they did this. God is very upset about this because there is a timeline. He gave y'all a timeline. Your wedding date is fast approaching. There is no time for anybody to be playing around with the timeline. There is no room for that. So God is saying his timeline is going to be met one way or the other, even if he got to take people out. This person is cursed because of what they did or what they tried to do to the two of you. And not only are they cursed, I heard death and mourning. Some of these folk, because of what they did, they're going to lose their lives over this. God is going to take them out because he had just about enough. He had just about enough. And the other thing that he said to me is that this death is going to shake your person up so much that they are never going to go near another counterfeit again. They are never going to entertain another counterfeit ever again when they see what God does in this situation. And the Lord led me to two scriptures. He led me to Isaiah 35, verse 4. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. God is not playing about that union. Then he led me to Isaiah 61, verses 2 to 3. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of God. To comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planning of the Lord for the display of his splendor. God is not playing. And another thing that I heard is short duration. So the effects of this spell on your person, God is going to cut it short. And I'm going to remind y'all again of all the Disney Channel movies with the prince and the princess. Y'all ever notice that in every Disney Channel movie, what broke the spell was true love. The love of God and the love that he has put in your heart and in your person's heart for each other is going to break that spell. True love can break any spell. True God-ordained love can break any spell. Just remember that. Try not to be angry with your person. They're not themselves right now because a separation spell was done. Fast and pray. I hope that this message helps somebody. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.